did you miss about with the male nine? I noticed the light bulb was shining right into the camera, so um, that's it on. So I'm using my uh, Casio digital guitar uh, MIDI controller. Built-in guitar to MIDI converter, Casio MIDI guitar. Uh, not using any of the MIDI stuff, so it's just a guitar lead. That's for later. You're going to see what the tracking's like on this compared to the Mel 9 electro harmonics pedal, which I've been messing about with. Um, this is my pals, and he uses it. He likes to set it to cello, and if you just strum stuff, it kind of plays along in the background. Um, so you go, here's your things there. Go to cello. Um, so I've, uh, the way I've got this running is I am running the guitar, not using any of the MIDI stuff, guitar into an AB pedal, which one side of the AB pedal goes to the guitar amp. Mm -hmm with my pedal board in there, nothing's on yet. And the other side goes into this pedal and then into the bass amp. So I've got the, if I just put on the, the, the bass amp on its own, I've never pressed it in the right order. There is a wet and dry signal thing on it. I've got the dry signal at nothing. So I'm only getting the pedal, just the affected pedal coming out of that amp. So I can kind of mix between the two. But as what I said, if you just kind of play it and kind of ignore it. a mixing element going on there um, but I was messing about with a low choir as I can first. Oh, 
tracks better than the. It can do the bends, whereas the MIDI guitar can. <laughs> Orchestra. Trigger better, higher, and then some trying to trigger better lower. You don't need the two, well you do need two amps if you want to hear it on its own, but obviously ideally they would both be mixed all the time, um, and you would just use, you could just use the knob, the volume, dry and wet volumes to get between them. so you can kind of ignore it. that on a volume pedal actually. dynamic when you hit it hard use the humbucker Perhaps. Uh -huh. 
Um, it's amazing, really. I mean, the tracking on it is fantastic. It's a strange selection of sounds, mind you. This is the Mellotron one. I'm, I think these things are like getting on for 200 quid. It's like 140 or 50 second hand sort of thing. I think there's a few in the range. And I'm just wondering if... I suppose as, as a sort of gateway drug to a MIDI control guitar, totally amazing because you don't need the fancy guitar or the pickup or the synthesizer or any of that stuff. You don't need another amp either. You know, I'm, I'm running it in stereo so you can hear the synth sounds or the, the Mellotron sounds coming out of a separate amp, but you can just run both into your amp and a mix. You don't need anything fancy for it. Um, and some of the sounds are really good. I can kind of see it. I immediately went for doing it not the way that my pal was doing it, you know, I was just playing the chords and having it kind of in the mix in the background, kind of filling out space. It works really well, um, just for fattening stuff out. Um, but obviously I was going immediately for trying to play lead on it, which is, these sounds aren't super conductive to lead, but that's that, see, because it's like strings and stuff, I wonder if that's um, how they're getting over the, the latency thing, because obviously you're hitting a signal it's going into the pedal, the pedal's processing that to make it sound like a a choir and then doing it so that there's, there's a bit of time in there but all these sounds are kind of, they've got a bit of attack on them so all the sounds do kind of go like the strings don't go ah, and they're on full bung, they don't have a an impact at the start, they do kind of go ah, and build in which is the way strings are, it doesn't matter what synthesizer you're using even if you're not controlling it with a MIDI thing, that's just what strings are to make it sound like a violin or a, a cello. So I, there's not any impact to ones. Like, see, if you try and play a bass, on, on, but I, 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 the bass version would probably be a bit more delayed because you're so used to going bump, but don't don't bump. So it's got to be really dead on, like hitting a big chord. Trang, trang, it's fine. Um, I'm just wondering why, because there's definitely a few. I don't know what the other ones in the range are. I can't really remember, but I think there's one that's organs, a Hammond organ one, I think. And it's just... There should be a bigger one that doesn't maybe cost one and a half times as much that's just got all the pedals in it because I'm sure that all the processing power thing, which is the skill in the pedal, has been able to take the signal from your guitar and turning it into something, turning it into a digital thing, which these pet to play this sound bank. So you wonder if just extra sound banks, if there is one, and if not, why not? Um, probably because people would just buy the full set. But it's, it's quite, it's a, it's a little bit different to operate because I'm, I'm immediately going into this because I've got a MIDI guitar and I've spent a bit of time playing it and get, kind of getting used to what you can and can't do controlling strings with a, a guitar. It's like, it's very good for some bits, not very good for other things. Um, you'll never, you'll notice that if you ever plug a, one of these into a piano, an electric piano, where it's, the sound is, sounds exactly like a piano, but on a piano you don't pluck individual strings, so you end up having to... Kind of, if you if you pluck three strings at the same time, it sounds exactly like a piano. So if you make it sound like a piano, you have to pluck the strings like that. You can't, you know, just play the same chords on a piano but strum them because it'll, that's like playing a piano, like brrrling, which you don't do. You hit all the notes at the same time. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm going to plug it in and have actually run this through that wee MIDI thing there, which is just it's a pretty crappy general MIDI bank thing I bought just... Because I don't have a proper sound module to plug this into. This is not like the Roland system. This has just got a MIDI out on it. So I need to plug it into a synth. That's just a general MIDI bank. That's a pretty cheap one. Which it gives you. It's got all the sounds. They're just pretty crappy versions of them. Um, but there's some sounds. Because this isn't the Roland thing. It doesn't have... Like this pedal's got that as well. It's got sounds that all work well with a guitar. Whereas if you plug it into just any old synth. Some sounds just don't, you can't even really play them with a guitar. Um, things like tubular bells work. Bells work really well. I've got a yeah, DX21. It's like some of the sounds on that work brilliantly, but other ones are just kind of like, it's not really very guitar -y. Saxophone and flute seems to work well because I think they're similar way of playing them or similar phrasing, perhaps. But I mean, I can totally see one of these being great fun. Um, especially if you're in like a, I don't know, if you're in like a 60s cover band, but memory comes to me, like they used to be called Edgy Coup Park, used to play about Glasgow, and they'd play like, I don't know, sort of 60s songs, Small Faces and all that. I can imagine having them, if you're the, the, the second guitarist, having a bit of, a bit of vamp along with strings or something for 
the ballads or something could be very interesting. Um, especially with a lot of pop stuff where the strings are really basic, you know, just in mm. whatever song it is. I'm going for slow. Mm. I've turned it right down now. Oh. Oh, the cable came out. it in the back of, I don't know, something like, I can't play yesterday, but, you know, some sort of pop hit, that's a slow one. I can totally see it and it's like if you're talking about a gig it's kind of worth it if it's only for one or two songs or you can maybe find a couple that when you're not doing anything interesting like if you don't have a keyboard player definitely what about uh, Deep Purple actually it's a bit orchestral but that would be the Hammond organ one you'd want for that it's just, I'm kind of sitting here looking looking at the the sound selections, I suppose this is a Mellotron, so the things that were most commonly put into a Mellotron were these sounds, and it's like that's where the trumpet doesn't really sound like a trumpet, it sounds like a Mellotron trumpet. So I wonder what the other ones are like in this range. I'm interested to see what's going to happen when I plug the MIDI guitar in as well, because I'm going to plug the MIDI guitar into that wee sound unit, and into this super amp, so we'll have three sound sources all running at the same time. I mean, that's like, it, it, it works, is it C-sharp minor? And Mr. White. C-sharp minor, isn't it?
just G minor, isn't it? Gummer would have loved this, he just gets got sacked right, right long earlier with that sort of thing. But I just read a song, it's like so many times you've got like a mid eight where it would be pretty nice to have like a freaky psychedelic bit where it did just you're just fading out like that to one chord and just having something to great fun, rock on. All right, so back to the bass tomorrow. This is bass week, uh, so I'll probably do another video of this tonight actually with the putting a shoot, shoot out like with the midi and the the modern 